Okay, so our next step from once we've created our design layer with our element on it, in this case a wall with a door and some cornice molding here, I need to create a sheet layer for the elevations so that I can have um, a nice clean, I know it's to scale, I'm going to add some um, uh, rendering modes to it so that I have a, a good clean version of my of my wall for my paint elevation. So I'm going to call this uh, elevation wall C, and I'm going to go ahead and edit creation edit properties after creation. Now this is a, this is somewhat important here um, is this raster rendering DPI. By default, it's usually 72, which is computer screen resolution. But if I'm going to be taking this line more line drawing into Photoshop, I need a much higher uh, rendering mode or rendering DPI for this because it does make a difference in the long run. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to 300. Now, the thing to keep in mind, if you're just doing basic elevations for um, for uh, the technical director or for whoever needs to see the elevations, you can keep this number a bit lower. But if you're creating these elevations to use specifically for paint elevations that you can import into Photoshop, you want to make that higher. The higher and the more layers you have at a higher DPI your file size is going to get really big really fast so just be aware of that um, also at this point you can change your page size right now I have a default set to the arch D size which I'm going to leave for now um, but you can always change that uh, to something smaller if you if you needed to all right so I've created my does my sheet layer now now I need to create a viewport to that wall that I made and I'm going to call it wall C. I'd like to capitalize it because that's just the thing to do. I have capital letters and I'm going to go ahead and select this create drawing label for this one because I'd want to go ahead and keep that drawing label. Turn my layers on so select wall C is the layer I want to look at. Uh, classes should be fine. Scale, I'm going to make it one half inch, which is standard. You can always go bigger, if you're, especially if you're doing something that's particularly detailed. You can change it to one inch scale um, so it shows up larger. But for this, half inch should be fine. And I want to change my detail level to high my view to a front view because this is going to be a front elevation and my wire frame I want to change to hidden line for this purpose. Um, I can check my render settings. I don't want to sketch. Usually the default is fine for that and I don't want it to be in perspective. I want it to be able to be scalable. So I say OK. And if you get that sort of candy cane line, that just means it needs to update. So select update. And depending on your render mode and how much detail is then in there, it shouldn't take a whole lot of time to actually update. So you can see that the you know that this wall was on an angle or had an angled angled section attached to it. So you can see where that was cut through that angle there, but this side you can't. That's fine. Um, for what we need here for now. All right, so that is changing or getting our <clears throat> uh, viewport set up. And now I want to export this as a PDF. Um, so again, I want my resolution to be pretty high on here. And most of the rest of this is fine. I don't need it to open in the default viewer. And I'm going to say it. There we go. And just for good measure, let's go ahead and save our file.